today we're going to be working on this delete code problem number four uh, median of two sorted arrays so we have been given two sorted arrays nums one and nums two both of them are sorted we need to return the median of those two arrays so our <coughs> trivial solution is going to be merging the two arrays merging the two arrays and then returning the median merging is can be done in O of M plus N M being the <coughs> the length of nums 1 and N being the length of nums 2 but we can do better without merging them together so if we have 1 3 and 2 we need to return uh, the median uh, in logarithmic time complexity so the way we're going to be doing it is partitioning the arrays and seeing so we're going to be partitioning it starting from the middle point of both of the arrays and because we know they are sorted so there's going to be a point where uh, the partition is going to be like we're going to have an a point where we can actually be sure that at the that partition of nums 1 and nums 2 there are equal number of elements uh, uh, like around those partitions so basically <coughs> for that we gonna be using x and y for the we're gonna be using x and y for the lens of arrays then we're gonna be having the partition x and partition Y for the partition points around which we're gonna uh, make sure that we have partitioned the arrays in a way that uh, we have equal number of elements on both sides and they are sorted okay and then we're gonna have our minimum and maximum element for every partition that we can say max x min x max y min y these are the max and mins around our partition partition x partition y okay what else Partition y and in the end the condition is going to be the condition which we are looking for is that the max x needs to be less than or equal to the min of y and max of y is less than or equal to min of x so once we find that partition, uh, that condition, we're gonna return our value based on the and the thing that the total number of elements are even or odd. Otherwise, if that is not the case, we're gonna just say max x is less than equal to min y. We're gonna say that the partition needs to be shortened. So we're gonna make our lower and uh, we'll approach the partition x plus 1 else uh, our upper end will become less than the partition 
okay there is another thing also we want to make sure that in our analysis <coughs> in our code we want to make sure that the uh, uh, nums of one uh, dot length is smaller than nums to of our length so getting to the code if that is not the case if nums is not as the, the case so if nums one dot length is let's say if it is greater than nums two dot length in that case we're gonna return we're gonna just uh, we're just gonna flip the uh, the arrays that is <coughs> good so far so basically we're gonna calculate our uh, variables here So basically we're going to be partitioning the first array which is the nums1 and based on that or whatever the total because we, we know the total number of elements in both of them combined so based on that we're going to be partitioning the second uh, uh, second array so constant partition x is equal to it's basically we're gonna be taking the low plus high and then uh, dividing it by 2 by right shifting one time we're gonna do the same thing but this time we're gonna be using x plus y plus 1 again dividing it by 2 by right shifting to the 1 and we already we have to subtract the number of elements of uh, of the partition of x like that so basically partition x and partition y are the in indices uh, where we want to partition them that is better okay now we're gonna call calculate max x so based on that partition whether it has like it has uh, basically if it has gone out of like to the left most side we want to say that it is now the negative infinity so if it is not out of bound uh, we're just gonna say that it is equal to nums of 1 good similarly we're gonna say uh, we're gonna calculate ma minimum of x which is equal to partition x has uh, is it like out of range if it is out of range we're gonna make it infinity otherwise it's just the partition of x okay with this we're gonna do the same thing with our uh, y min and y max so max of y is equal to partition of y whether it is out of bound if it is uh, out of bound from the left side we're gonna make it negative infinity And 
then we're gonna calculate the minimum min of y uh, we're gonna check if it has gone out of bound <coughs> from the right side so we're gonna make it infinity otherwise it's just the partition of y like the element at the uh, at the index of index which is partition of y now getting to that uh, condition if we have met the condition we have found the solution which is max of x less than equal to equal to min of y and max of y is less than equal to min of x I'm gonna say constant low min sorry low max is basically we wanna take the bigger number between those two uh, between the two uh, max x and max y if we have like total number of elements are odd If that is the case, we're gonna return the low max. Otherwise, we're gonna return low max plus math dot min of min of x min of y, and then like the uh, the minimum of the minimum of x and minimum of y, and then divided by two. So we're gonna take the mean of the uh, the middle two elements and then we're gonna return that else if max, max of x is less than less than min of y we can say that our low is equal to our patient of x plus one else high partition of x minus 1 so yeah this works let's see if the whole solution works So yeah, uh, there was a typo here. Uh, I wasn't doing the average uh, properly, so I need the the bracket. Uh, thanks for watching.